Pittsburgh Performance Venue is hosting a world-class chamber music series, and it's all happening at the Palladium. And here with the details is Executive Director Paul Wilborn, along with Jeff Malter. Welcome, gentlemen. How are you today? Great. Thanks for having us here. What a great way to kick off the show, I'm just going to say. We love that you're here. And uh, this series first started as one show, expanded to five. You were saying people cannot get enough. Let's chat. What is the Chamber Series, and why is it so special? We. I fell in love with chamber music in college, and, and when I ran the Palladium, we, I inherited a chamber series, but it, it just wasn't as good as we wanted it to be. And Jeff came and we had this idea of let's do a world-class music series, and we've made it happen. It's now six, seven years, Jeff? I yeah. can't even tell. Been We're having while. so much fun. <laughs> and the audience has responded like crazy. We, we have four or 500 people at every concert now, and we could not stop doing a chamber music series because the audience would literally kill us. And Jeff, you of course from the Florida Orchestra, you're responsible and help bring in some of the fabulous musicians that we're able to see. I know we're taking a look here shortly at some of those. Explain what you try to bring together and why it is such a unique experience. Well, chamber music is it's just so wonderful for an audience and for us performers as well because mm -hmm. these great composers that we associate Beethoven and Mozart writing pieces for big symphony orchestras, they also wrote an amazing amount of music for very small groups. So the most people we're going to have on stage all year this year is six. And so, but the entire emotional content of those composers' vision comes out in these, these unbelievably miniature uh, ensembles. So I love the interaction that the audience gets to experience when they see chamber music live because there's no conductor, there's nobody telling you what to do. It's all done by musical ESP and by sort of magic and knowing the piece and knowing your colleagues and body language and that kind of thing. And the audience gets to be really a part of that and, and in that can, wonderful space. And, and you understand yeah. like the performance, you can see the musicians like feeling right. the music and getting in, which brings a whole different element that people might not be used to if they've experienced orchestra. Right. right. Well, I mean, you know, our, our orchestra, we try really hard to be animated and, and exciting to watch as well. But there's, um, there's something about the chamber music experience that's just very intimate. And you get to see these individual people doing their thing. You know, you can really focus on each person because you're there for you know, an hour and a half and there's mm -hmm. only four people. So, you know, you can really focus on mm -hmm. what's going on. It's a lot like going to a jazz concert where you really see these master musicians working at the top of their game and interacting with each other, even though they're playing the notes. It's not really an improvisational experience. It's just amazing to watch and feel the energy moving back and forth. And it people just leap out of their seats at the end of these shows and stand up and applaud. It's, um, it's amazing. and. Uh, well, and it's also an amazing venue, too. I want to make sure and, and give some love to the Palladium Thank if people you. haven't been there as well. Well, there's the information so that you can get tickets, but lucky you viewers, we're going to get a little sneak peek. We're going to get a performance, right? Jeff, explain what we're getting ready to enjoy. Well, my colleague Derek Musloff, who's the principal violist of the Florida Orchestra, we work together all year, he and I are going to play this beautiful duet by Mozart for violin and viola, and you're going to get to see just two people do this amazing, it sounds almost like a symphony, and it's amazing to hear what Mozart can do with just these two instruments. So I hope you enjoy it.